Courses as they come from the ministry are broken down into different pages. There's the overview, the expectations, content, sometimes more than one content page, and the assignment. You notice that these ones are all in draft mode. Students can't see those, but the teacher can, and then the students go from here, and then they interact by saying overview. They usually skip the expectations because they're the ministry ones. It doesn't help them very much. Content, they can see. Oftentimes, there'll be a second page, as I saw in this one and often they will forget to do that, but most students seem to skip right to the assignment, which I like them to see the assignment, but they forget to see what the content is first. What we've decided is to go back and, in Unit 2, for example, is to clean it up and have it all in one thing. So, for example, here, it's going to have, instead of overview, we're talking learning goal. The content is through here, some embedded videos, and the assignment will be down at the bottom. So they have to physically scroll through all of the content stuff before they see the assignment so they get to know what's going on and then um, an embedded video on the, in the assignment here. <coughs> Excuse me. So I want to show you a quick way on how to do that and it might clean up your courses and hopefully it works well for you. So I'm going to clean up activity two here and what I normally do is content's got more stuff in it so I have to open up the content and then I like to go back and open this in a second tab and if you click on your mouse wheel you can open it in a second tab and from there I'm going to go to activity 2 and I'm going to steal the overview which is basically the learning goal and if you do it by clicking on here and saying edit <coughs> excuse me then you'll get any of the formatting if you don't use the edit part then you often don't get the formatting so I'm just going to copy all this and I'm going to go back to this one and I'm going to go to edit mode and I'm going to over top here, get rid of this stuff, and paste, control V to paste. Sorry, I had an extra couple little bits of writing there. And this is my learning goal. I'm not going to bother updating it right now to make it a little bit better to read, but that's the idea. Here's my learning goal. I like to change my heading then to say U3, A3, excuse me, A2, and the title. Okay, so there was a second content page. I'm going to come back to my second tab and find my second content page. So I'm just going to cancel the editing here. Go to content two. So I'm clicking back here. So I know it takes a little bit of time. Once you get into it, it's quite quickly. It goes quite quickly. I'm going to edit again so I get all my formatting as I do it. And I'm going to start from here and uh, highlight everything. Okay, the embedded videos just look like a flash. Uh, thing here. So I've done videos on how to use OpenOffice or 2003 or 2010 Excel just to make sure everyone knows everything there. Copy, come back to here, I'm going to go to the bottom. So here's my instead of next page, I'm going to get rid of that and add in this next bit. And then finally, I need to get the assignment. So I'm going to cancel in my second tab, go back to here and click on assignment. I know I'm going quickly, but there we go, assignment. And I'm going to grab the assignment. I'm going to go to edit mode again in case there's any formatting to pick up. And I'm going to highlight everything in the assignment. And then all the hyperlinks work too, if you, as long as you do it in the edit mode. I'm going to paste down here. Looks like I'm good to go. I'm going to publish it. Okay, so now Unit 3, Activity 2 starts out with learning goal, content. It's quite long, I know. Embedded videos. And at the bottom will be assignment. Sorry, scrolling down here. There's the assignment. Okay, and then I'm going to go back to the top. Sorry, and I'm going to delete the other bits. So I'm going to delete this one. I know this is my new one because I named it U3A2. I'm going to delete this one. Careful, if there were any restrictions added in any of your things here, delete them first because yeah. they. Um, there's a glitch in D2L that doesn't like it. So I'm going to delete them. They're still there, as you notice as I'm deleting them. They're still actually, I'm saying, remove them from the content, but the files are still there. Okay? And so I can always go back and find those files if I want to. And it cleans things up. So now instead of all that, I'm getting into Activity 1, Activity 2 as I go through. Makes life a lot easier, and eventually it'll look kind of like my other sample one, just going straight through.